A three-term ratio compares three quantities. One example is two to four to five. Three-term ratios must be measured in the same units. You can compare the number of liters shown in the picture as 15 to 30 to 60 because each gauge is measuring the amount in liters. Three-term ratios, like all other ratios, are usually expressed in simplest form. The ratio 15 to 30 to 60 can be reduced. Notice that each of the terms can be divided by 15. 15 over 15 is 1, 30 over 15 equals 2, and 60 over 15 is 4. The three-term ratio in simplest form is 1 to 2 to 4. A two-term ratio can be expressed as a ratio or as a fraction. 4 is to 5 or 4 fifths. A three-term ratio can only be written in ratio notation, 5 to 6 to 1. Notice that all of the ratios are expressed in lowest terms. Let's look at an example of a three-term ratio. You are preparing fruit punch out of strawberry, orange, and grape juices. You will use three glasses of strawberry juice, one glass of orange juice, and two glasses of grape juice in your punch. To write this as a three-term ratio, strawberry juice is listed first, so you will write three. Then comes the orange juice, one, and the last is the grape juice, two. The unit for the three ingredients is the same, glasses. The ratio would be three to one to two. If you wanted to have twice as much punch, you would use six glasses of strawberry juice, two glasses of orange juice, and four glasses of grape juice. The ratio would be six to two to four, which is equal to three to one to two. To recap, three-term ratios compare quantities expressed in the same units. Three-term ratios cannot be written as a fraction. Three-term ratios are expressed in lowest terms.